This is Math 141, Practice Test 1. Question number four, we're supposed to find all real zeros of this polynomial. So um, <clears throat> what I'm trying to do is divide things out or, or factor things out. And I notice, first thing, that these, these each have an x in them. So what I can do is I can factor out an x. So if I factor an x out of here, I'm left with x cubed minus 7x plus 6. And so uh, I like that because that means I've already found one of my zeros. I already know that one of them is is zero from this. And then I can investigate the rest of this, the rest of this cubic to find my other zeros. And I have some possibilities. I uh, remember my possibilities are, are factors of the last term divided by factors of that leading coefficient, which is a one. So my possible zeros, um, possible, are plus or minus one, two, three, and six all over one. So basically one, two, three, and six, uh, positive and negative, those are possibilities. So if I wanted to, I could uh, I could graph it and try and find them. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try something. See what happens. I'm gonna try. Uh, actually, let me graph it. Why not? Let's let's graph it. So here it is, right here. If I graph it, there's my zero. That worked. It looks like negative three, zero, one, and two. Those were all possibilities on my list. So those are things that I will uh, that I will try. So let me try uh, negative three. And I don't need to worry, I don't need to go back to my original because I've already found the zero off of this. So I'm really just gonna dig into this. So I have one x cubed. Notice I have zero x squared. So I, I need a placeholder for that x squared. <clears throat> so one x cubed, zero x squareds, negative seven x's and six ones. So bring down the one, multiply by negative three, add, multiply by negative three, add. Oh, nope. How about I multiply right? Multiply by negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Whew. Add, and I get uh, blah, 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 2. Multiply those, I get to get negative 6. There's a 0. So I know that negative 3 worked as well. So I'd already factored an x out of this thing. From this, I factored out an x plus 3. And you can, you don't need to do this. I'm just trying to, to show the, the work. And what's left is an x squared minus 3x plus 2. And then from here, um, if you want to keep on synthetic dividing and trying things, you can. Or you can look at this. And actually, that quadratic is pretty easy to factor. That factor is to uh, x minus 2 times x minus 1. So that actually gives me my other two zeros. Uh, what makes this a zero, two, what makes this a zero, one? So zero, uh, negative three, two, and one. And there's my possible zeros for that number four.